Hi, this is Dr. Hayes at North Seattle Community College, and today we're going to be doing a chicken leg dissection. So, of course, this is a tip typical chicken leg that you would find at the grocery store. The chicken leg is covered with the skin, which is the integumentary system for the chicken. Now, of course, the chicken skin is a little bit different than what you would see with human skin because chickens, of course, have feathers. So, in the chicken skin, you'll see these little holes, and these holes are, of course, where the feathers would be inside, uh, attached to the chicken. If I reflect the skin back to reveal the muscle tissue beneath, on the underside of the skin, you'll notice a very yellow, oily type substance, which is the fat or the hypodermis layer of the skin. Now, if we shift our attention to the muscle tissue, of course, the muscle is contained by membranes, just like other structures we've seen so far. As I reflect the membrane, you see the outermost membrane, or the epimyceum, covering the entire musculature of the chicken leg. Okay? What I've done at this point is I have taken and cut into the muscles so that I can reveal the fact that the muscles are layered within the leg itself. So as I peel back this, you can see how each muscle is grouped into the individual muscle units. And those muscles are connected to other muscles with an aponeurisis, which I'll show you in a little bit. You can kind of see that structure here. Uh, that white that's still left. That's an aponeurisis connecting muscle to muscle. So that's that white structure there. I'll show you another uh, image of that on the other side. Now, muscles are connected to bone through tendons. And here is a tendon, this white structure, that is actually still attaching the muscle at this point to the bone, which would be underneath the skin at the other part. And this is typically the stuff that you remove when you're cooking the chicken. It's usually the tough white pieces that you remove. There is another tendon here that is no longer attached to the muscle but is still attached to the bone. And you can see the white of the tendon because there are no blood vessels associated with it. And of course the tendon itself is actually very strong. I'm actually using a lot of force to pull on this tendon and it's not breaking. So it takes a lot to um, remove a tendon or break a tendon. One of the things you can't really see on the dissection very well, but of course each of the muscles are going to have fibers that go in a parallel orientation. And those muscles are going to be grouped together. So again, you saw this muscle that is grouped separately from the muscles beneath it. Now this is a chicken leg, so you're looking at the femur and the tibia connected by the knee joint here. So this would be the thigh. So we're actually in the um, the drumstick that you guys are referring to when you eat this chicken uh, is down here at this point. And that drumstick, if we flip over to the other side, you can see there's the drumstick, and this is the uh, part of the leg that would actually attach to the, the claw of the, of the chicken. The other part here is going to connect to the uh, body of the chicken up here, so the femur would be up here. If I turn the muscle, you can see a better image of the aponeurisis that's still intact, connecting one muscle to another. So that's that white membrane that you see there, and this would connect this muscle to the one below it. That concludes our discussion of the chicken.